So, all right, here we go. Um, welcome. Tonight is our first uh, call for our coach training group. And I just want to just point out that the more you get plugged into your business, the more successful you're going to be. Um, for myself as a new coach, I was super overwhelmed and that's perfectly normal. I tell the story every time I talk to my new coaches. When I started, I thought I had to know everything that there was to know about Beachbody. And um, so I went to the library and I printed off over $20 worth of copies all from you know the documents that were in my back office and I never looked at them again because everything is in your back office, which is awesome. So anything that you need to know, it's not going anywhere. It's you know information there literally at your fingertips. So you know, although it is overwhelming, it's also reassuring to know that if you have a question, you can access your FAQ. Everything that you need um, is in your back office. So I know um, when you're getting started, it's you know that coach online office is kind of daunting. There's a lot of information. So I'm just going to do a screen share here and kind of walk you through the most important things in that online office that's going to help you know kind of, you know, where you should focus your time and energy with um, finding the information that you need. There's some just really basic um, sections that I want to point out to you. So I'm going to go ahead and do a screen share here. And you'll have to excuse all of my, my mess here that I have open. All right, so when you log into your Team Beachbody account, you're going to click on the coach and then coach online office, and it's going to bring you to your home screen here. <clears throat> All right, so you're just going to literally go across these tabs at the top and then do the start here and then do your site tour. And that's going to be basically very similar to what we're talking about right now tonight. It's going to walk you through the important things that you need to know in your coach online office. Um, the next one over is my websites. So I always use the top one, the Edit Beachbody Coach. And of course, I want it in English. So if you click on that tab for yourself, that's going to take you to your website. And this is what people are going to see when they log in is long, when they're your customer. Um, but you can go in here and change and personalize anything that you want in here. You can put your name, um, your contact information. You can upload a photo. Um, so that way when people log into their account, they see you as their coach. And then this over here on the upper right is your <clears throat> website URL. So you can copy this and paste it. It's the beachbodycoach.com backslash and then your, your screen name. So that's what you can give people if you want to give them the link to your website if you're at the point where they're ready to sign up for a free membership or make a purchase. Then anything that goes through your website um, well, you know, you'll get commission for that. Um, but however, I always ask people if they already have a coach that they're working with or if they have used any Beachbody workout programs. Um, number one, if they've used a program before and they ordered off the Beachbody website, they are probably assigned a free random coach if they don't know their coach. Um, so it, it, you just messaging them their website or your website. If they have another existing coach or a customer account, you're not necessarily gonna get credit for that order. Um, the second thing is that we don't ever wanna take customers away from another coach who's already established a relationship with them, a connection with them, and is working with them. So that's why as soon as I start the conversation with somebody, I always ask them if they have a coach that they're working with, if, they've, you know, if they have a Beachbody membership. All right. Um, next one is sales and marketing. And this is where you're gonna find all the information for the program specific stuff. So the business tools is where you will go. And let's just give it a second to load here. All right, so all of the different program specific stuff is here. So let's say you're talking to somebody, you ask them a bunch of questions about what they're looking for and you wanna make a recommendation. Um, I always, you know, normally will give two or three recommendations for somebody when they're ready to, you know, look at options. Um, and this is a really great time where to use your team for help. Like, you know, a lot of you are probably not familiar with all of these workout programs. There are quite a few. And as a new coach, you know, myself, you know, I, the only program that I used before coaching was Insanity. So I really didn't know a lot about the other programs. So once you get to know a little bit about your customer and find out what they're you know what their preferences are for a workout and that sort of thing. You can kind of narrow things down to if they only have half an hour or less to work out. You know you can just by process of elimination. You know P90. You know they're longer. Body Beast is longer. You know some of those you can read out. 
and then um, ask your team, your Fit Formation team or your Royal Republic or whatever your bigger team page is, um, you know, for some help, maybe giving you some guidance on what your recommendation should be for that person. So you click on one, let's say 21 Day Fix, and then you're going to look, here's the FAQ, so everything you need to know about that program is here. Um, and then the promo video. So you can click on this, and then you can share that preview video clip. Usually they're like two to three minutes long. And then I just copy and paste it into Messenger so that that person can get a feel for the program to see you know, if they think that that's a good fit for them. Um, so you have a bunch of different options. Usually yeah, the one that pulls up is the one that I'm gonna use. So you just click on that, okay. So you would click on the share, and then copy link, and then just copy and paste that in Messenger to your customer. All right, and then you can do that same process for every single workout, all right? Um, and then just go through and look at these other tabs. You know, that's the one that I use most of the time in there, so that's why I'm gonna and not go over the other ones. Um, under my business, this one is big. The very top one is my preferred placement. Um, as you're building your team and starting your business, your first rank advancement is Emerald, which is really important because once you reach Emerald rank, then you start earning team cycle bonus and you get the Beachbody leads. So anybody who orders off of a Beachbody website or calls the 1-800 number and orders through Beachbody online or, or over the phone, they're given um, a free health coach. So we, as coaches, get to work with those people and help them support them to their goals. So how you, um, how you earn Emerald rank is you place a coach one on your right and one on your left. So you go into your preferred placement, and this is going to be blank for you guys, your placement ID. Just leave that blank. That's going to be business center one. And then position, you're only going to use right or left. So just you're going to want to go in there now and just set it to one side or the other, okay, and then save it. And that way when you sign your first coach or discount coach or preferred customer, whatever you're calling it, um, you know, they will be automatically placed to that side of your business. And then when you sign your second person, you're going to come back here and then change it to the opposite side and save it. And that way, when you sign your second coach, it'll go on the other side. Now, um, as you're building your business, you're going to be able to see your coaches in your downline, which takes me to the next tab here. So you're going to look at my downline. And then don't worry about all of these other ones here, the graphic genealogy, full genealogy, personally sponsored. I mean, all this stuff is just going to confuse you. The one that you need to know starting out is the sponsorship drill down. And those are your personally sponsored coaches. Um, I know some of you, you know, you might see other coaches being placed in your downline. That's your upline, placing coaches underneath you to help build up volume, um, which is going to turn into income for you once you start, um, you know, once you are Emerald Coach, then you earn that team cycle bonus, which I talked about. Um, so the volume is being built for you on one of your legs of your business, which is your strong leg. And then you are going to be matching that volume on your weak leg with your own personally sponsored coaches. But we're going to go ahead and look at the sponsorship drill down so you can get a feel for what this is going to look like as you build your team. Um, so right now you're not going to have anybody if you haven't signed a coach. But um, you can see, you know, my coaches here. Um, I can see what leg they're placed on, left or right. And then I can see all of their activity, their volume, um, their success club qualification for the month. And things like that. So you'll be able to track your coach's activity in your um, sponsorship drill down. And then you get to see their coaches also as they build their teams. All right. And then um, my customers is the other one that you're going to use. So you can go into my business, my customers, customer search. And then this is your customer database, which is pretty awesome. So you can send emails um, to all of your customers a really simple way. Um, just send bulk email, and then you can um, craft your email that will go out to all of your customers. I'm not going to do that now, but um, what I do actually is I um, export the emails into my Yahoo account because I found that um, emailing from my Beachbody website, for some reason, a lot of times those emails go to a spam folder. So I actually don't do it through the Beachbody website, but like I said, through my Yahoo or, or Gmail account. Um, all right, so your customers, you'll be able to see um, orders, your own personal orders and your customer orders. You can see that there. 
your earnings as you start earning income, you'll be able to track that there. And that's um, from the date that you sign up, which is kind of cool. So you can track your income from day number one to see how far you come in a year from now. Um, and then my forms and documents is a good one too. Um, there's a lot of great information there. Um, if you want to modify your Shakeology order, that's where you'd find that form. Um, the other one that you'll use, I'm not gonna get into that one right now. Um, right, the product catalog and the price list and product links form. As a new coach, those two forms are really super helpful just to give you an idea of um, what's for sale, what, uh, you know, how much things cost. So, um, you, you know, these might be good ones to print out just so you have them handy until you learn them. And then, of course, the policy and procedure, the compensation plan is in here. The coach welcome book. So, you know, those are good things to take a look through. Um, what's next here? Um, my profile in my EFT management. You can go in and fill out your profile and you actually need to do that once your Emerald ranks to receive the Beachbody leads. So make sure you go and do that. And then your EFT management, if you don't set this up, um, you're gonna be sent a check in the mail, in the, in the snail mail. Um, so if you want quicker payment, our payrolls are every Thursday morning, um, which is also when all of the status updates are. So if you're working on a rank advancement, let's say you sign two coaches and you notice, hey, I'm still showing up as coach, how come? Well, that's because the system updates happen on Wednesday at midnight or Thursday morning, I guess, midnight. So Thursday morning is when we get paid and it's also when all of the rank updates um, come out. So um, yeah, so you just go and enter your bank information there. Um, and then I guess the news and training is something that you want to check in regularly. And I, by regularly, I mean probably every couple days. Um, and I just, you know, make a habit every time I check in to my back office, I just glance really quickly here, the coach breaking news to see if there's anything new that I might've missed. Um, so like, you know, when I post updates or things um, on our team page, it's usually, you know, things that are found right here in our back office. And I just want to make sure nobody missed it. Um, so, you know, it's a good habit to get into just to look through here and make sure you are all current with what's going on in the company, what the promotions are for the month, things like that. Uh, let's see what else can I show you here. Um, your upline diamond coach information is going to be here on your upper left, um, their phone number. Um, your volume, you know, again, that's something to dig into later on when you start building your business and really understand, but you're going to have a strong leg and a weak leg. So you're going to notice, you know, one leg has more volume than the other likely. And that's because your upline again is adding volume and adding coaches to one leg of your business. So as an Emerald coach, you know, this can take some time to really fully understand, but as you build your business and add coaches, you're going to be adding volume to your business. And every time you earn 100 point volume on your weak leg to 200 point volume on your strong leg, then you earn one team cycle bonus as an Emerald coach. Okay, so that's why you're just going to be watching that and trying to balance it out as much as you can to, so that you're turning over the most amount of cycle bonus in a pay week as possible. And then under your alerts here, um, it'll show you if you have any new you know, coaches, new customers, um, new leads, you know, things like that. So as you um, are getting those free beach body leads as an Emerald Rank or higher, you know, you'll be able to see them here as an alert and then it gets updated every week. Marsha, I have a question. All right. So I don't know. I'm going to stop the screen share here at this point. Maybe, maybe not. How do I do that? <laughs> Uh, here we go. All right. So I'm going to, I guess, stop at this point and take a break and ask if you have any questions. I would like you to take yourselves off mute. And I know I went through that really quickly. Um, so as you guys, oh, you know what? I forgot to show you. Bummer. Okay. I'm going to go back. This is really important. I wanted to show you this for sure. Okay. Hello. All right. So under news and training, here's the training section. Okay, guys. So this is really, really important. This is where you're going to want to start. You know, as soon as you enroll with a coach, my welcome email talks about this training section. So this is where this is news and training training. And um, all of this um, 
training in your back office here is super duper important. And this is where, you know, you're going to want to probably print off some documents to help you with your tracking, tracking your business activities, um, tracking your customers, and eventually tracking your coaches. Um, but the number one thing is getting started, you know, so you're going to learn more here. Um, so get it, getting started coaching training. So the three vital behaviors, you know, to understand what those are, your business quick start is kind of um, intended to help you get started thinking, you know, who can you help um, that you know already in your business to try to, you know, you start with your warm market of friends. And so, you, you know, most people know, you know, one to two people who they could help out right away um, with their business because you're you really want to jump start your success and get yourself to that emerald rank as soon as possible so the business quick start is intended to help you you know find those two people so that you can get them started right away and get yourself to emeralds so that you start earning your team cycle bonus and the beach body leads All right become familiar with beach body so the video that just navigates like we just did your coach on an office um, your profile and websites videos, all right? So you can do that in probably, I don't know, 30 minutes, all right? And then after that, that um, you're going to want to go to, okay, so we did the getting started. Then you're going to want to go on to the coach training, okay? So then you're going to do the same thing, go through all of these things. It talks about the national wake-up calls. They happen every Monday morning at um, 10 a.m. Central Time. So um, I always just make a point. I know I have that in my calendar every Monday morning at 10 a.m. I get on that call and it's you dial it in and your end is muted. And I just put mine on speakerphone and I'm kind of listening to that as I'm doing my power hour. And I just plan my Mondays accordingly. Um, and we have guest speakers every Monday, um, top coaches, um, recognition for anybody who earned a rank advancement in the week, um, the top recruiter, so things like that. So I always, I never ever miss national wake up call. And they all are, all are, I cannot talk. They are archived also. So you can go back literally for, you know, three years ago or whatever and find, you know, the national wake up calls and listen to recordings. And that, you know, could be great personal development for you if you're, you know, wanting to listen to something while you're working. Um, you know, they talk about training events, the Super Saturday, the summit. Um, you guys are new coaches, you know, make sure you get on that summit waiting list. You know, hopefully I'll get your free ticket with the success starters, which is another important um, benefit of meeting a success club when you help three people every month um, for the, your first three months as coach. You earn your free ticket to Summit. It's almost a $300 value for your tickets to get into all of the trainings and sessions, so it's definitely worth working for. Three people with a challenge pack in your first three months as coach earns you that free ticket. Um, but get on the wait list anyway. You can always, you don't have to pay anything to be on the wait list. Um, it's free, so. And let's see what else we talk about. All right, so yeah, go through the know this, the vital behaviors, learn how. And this is where you're going to find all of your documents that you're going to want to print out. So your contact list, your memory jogger. Um, what else would I print out? Your business activity tracker. I would definitely print that out. And that's going to be basically um, telling you exactly what you need to do every day to move your business forward. So, you know, just like our health and fitness goals, when we track, we do better. Um, the same parallel is with your business. When you track, you're going to know that you're doing what you need to do in order to move your business forward in order to succeed. So that business activity tracker is probably the most important form that you can use and help um, yourself as you learn this business. Um, so can't stress that enough. All right. And then... You know, if you get through this very first coach section in your training and you feel confident, you're comfortable, then you can go ahead and move on to the Emerald and Ruby section. Um, but I probably wouldn't go beyond this until you, for sure, you know, number one, hit Emerald. And then, um, you know, you'll just continue and go on from there. So here's the Emerald training and then the same thing. So this is where you're going to start to really dig into how to expand your market how to follow up with customers. You know, your first month, you're really just letting people know what you're doing. Um, you're sending out those initial messages, letting people know that you're, you know, running a, a group and wanting to know if they are, are wanting to know more. Um, let's see what else, the customer to coach guide. So once you start helping people in their first group, maybe after the first month, you know, then you can maybe start having conversations with them about joining your coaching team. So this literally walks you through how to have those conversations. And then how to sign up coaches and set your preferred placement. Okay, we kind of touched on that um, in your My Business, My Preferred Placement. Um, here's the exact steps. So like I said, everything is in your online office here. If you forget how to do it, you can come back here to this training section 
and um, review this how to sign up your coaches and set your placement. And here's again the business activity tracker, how to advance and rank video, and then the team cycle bonus. If you want to learn more about that, I didn't get real into um, depth on that. Um, here's the video so you can learn how to do that. So, okay. Now I want to open it up to questions. So where are you guys all at? <laughs> 4,000 hits. Remember, I've been a coach for two years, officially, <laughs> as of Friday. So congratulations. <laughs> yeah, you're good. you'll get there, too. But I remember as a new coach, it's funny that you said that, because I remember as a new coach watching, like, oh, I had a hit. And, you know, every day you go back, and, oh, did I have any hits? <laughs> So I guess the question I to to you, I'd like to hear from you to see kind of where you're at. Um, you know, are you guys all on board for the, the free group starting tonight or tomorrow? Um, are you doing your own? Are you a fly on my wall so you can copy my posts and kind of take it off off with it on yours? Or do you want to, I mean, I, my goal for this month is to do a free group every single week. So if you want to use this first group that we're running together, is just kind of learn how to work and then do your own next week or whatever you, your plans are. Um, the goal really with the free group is to add contacts. We're going to have to talk about tonight. I'm not going to call it eight. Call it eight. So. Oh. Rhonda, I'm going to call on you. You guys are quiet. What do you have going on? Oh, you got to unmute yourself. Here, I'll get you. All right, now you can go. Oh, you're not. <laughs> there, now you can go. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yes. Thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Um, I do have a couple questions. Um, now, you said that you they only update the system like Wednesday night. Now, mm -hmm. I signed somebody up on Friday, Friday night. They will not be on there until Wednesday. Is that correct? Nope. Okay, so when you sponsor a new coach, and I was going to actually ask you about that, Rhonda, because I, I thought you did sign someone up, and you only, I didn't see that you met Success Club last month either, which you thought you did, right? I thought so, yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know if something happened with your order, because I looked in your downline, and I only still see one coach. So okay, something I'm here. Well, okay, now it says I have two new personal sponsored coaches. Okay, let me look once. Okay, yep, they're there now. Okay, so on one leg, I still have zero. How can I switch that? Was she a brand new enrollee or was she a customer first? She was a customer first, and then we enrolled her. Did she use a new challenge pack or an existing challenge pack? Um, well, she ordered one Tuesday, and we signed her up on Friday. Okay, so that's why. You're going to need to send an email to um, it's coachrelations at beachbody.com. So coachrelations at teambeachbody.com, and then have her um, – the request was is she, uh, I'm getting some feedback. Can you guys all mute yourselves? Guys, can you mute yourselves? All right, thanks. All right, so send that email and then have her um, transfer her volume from her coach account to her customer, or from her customer account to her coach account, and that will make her active. And then you'll also want to go back into um, your business, my forms and documents, and have her fill out that um, free coach enrollment form so that she gets reimbursed that forty dollars. Okay. Forty dollars. So then on Thursday morning, then your rank will update to Emerald. Okay. So um, exciting. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's exciting. So then your, your success club points, though, for that order should have been reflected for last month. So we'll have to talk about that. Um, we'll touch base after the call. Yeah. yeah. And see what happened with that. All right. That sounds good. All right. 
Um, we're going to need to wrap up our Coach Basics call because we have the Royal Republic one jumping on here now. Um, do you guys have any last questions real quick before we close out? Okay, just mark your calendars then next week, 7.30, same time. We'll touch base again. So, okay, well, it is 8 o'clock. So those of you who are on tonight from Royal Republic, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm just going to start off by, first of all, going through um, some news and updates. Like I mentioned, I don't know if those of you who are on the call, um, but in your Coach Online office, on the right-hand side, when you log into your account, um, you can see all of the, the updates, breaking news. Um, so just a couple things to note is that the Beach Product Performance line has free shipping from now until the end of August. So really awesome deal. Um, if you know anyone who has been curious about that or is maybe like into the bodybuilding or um, serious about getting really good results and wanting to take things up a notch, I love, love the performance line. Can't say enough good things about it. Um, and then for the cup challenge, you can get an extra point for your cup teams. Um, when people order challenge pack and tack on either the performance or a boost, a Shakeology boost. So uh, make sure that you're in the know of what those um, products are. And the same thing, you can go into your um, the business tools and get yourself educated about what those are so that when you're talking to your potential customers, your customers about it, um, you can be knowledgeable about the products. And then also be talking about it in your challenge groups. Um, if people are talking about being really sore, like honest to God, you guys, I've been using this for the last couple weeks and I'm doing body beast and I'm, I like to lift really heavy. And it's amazing to me how like I'm not as sore as I was before I started using this product. And my recovery time is so much quicker. It's awesome. So that way, like the next day, I feel like I can really push myself harder again because I'm not feeling so sore. So it really is a truly amazing product. And I'm seeing some really awesome results. I'm really excited about it. So, um, you know, it's one of those things sometimes, you know, it helps to be able to try it yourself too so that you can share with people, you know, how to, what does it taste like? It seems to be like the thing that people really want to know. And just so you guys know, if you haven't tried the chocolate chill, it's chocolate milk, I tell you. I would not know the difference if I was blindfolded and had the two <laughs> in my hands. It is so good. I love that stuff. I work out just so I can drink the chocolate chill. <laughs> so, um, Let's see, the size, All right? So this is another thing too I wanna to tell you guys about. With the kickstarts, I know a lot of times, you know, we don't wanna feel like we're upselling our customers or whatever, but um, you know, with the kickstart programs, you guys, um, that's your Beachbody program, your Shakeology, and then the three-day refresh. When I have a customer who's ready to order, I will always ask them, I'm like, you know what? While I'm in here, you know, I like the Coach Mobile app while I'm helping them get set up. I, I really just want to mention to you that you can get a, an add-on with the three-day refresh for only $40 more. It's about a $20 discount. Um, you don't have to use it right away, but, you know, that way you'd have it if you have an event coming up, at, you know, the summer yet. Or, you know, if you reach a plateau and you want to use it then or, you know, after, you know, a bad weekend. Um, but a lot of times when I just ask them, you know, they usually want to try it. And they're like, well, what's that? You know, so then I send them that video, you know, that kind of explains what it is and let them decide. Um, but don't ever feel like you're trying to upsell. You know, you're just letting them know. Because I would feel personally bad if I didn't tell them and they found out later that they could have gotten it for cheaper than paying full price. So you just want to let your customers know what their options are and don't feel like you're trying to sell them something more. You know, they can say, you know, yes or no. And I usually say, you know, no big deal if you don't want it or whatever. I just, I feel like I need to let you know because it's at a discount. So um, the size is on sale for 140 this month. The kickstart is 180. And then the 21 day fix, um, fix and extreme sale were extended, which I'm so super happy about um, just through the 10th and the 12th. So make sure you get your dates right um, on when those are still for sale. And then the same thing with the kickstarts, you know, so the kickstarts are still 180 for those two programs. Um, all right, so this time I'm going to go into the meeting of call. I'm going to record here. Oh, I guess it's gone. I guess it's gone. All right. Um, all right. If you guys can all mute yourselves, I'm getting a really bad echo. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, screen share here. 
For those of you just jumping on who may not know me, my name is Marsha. I'm a um, diamond coach on Alyssa's team. So welcome. All right, can I get a thumbs up if you guys can see my slide? Time to get calm down for my night. All right, Rhonda, I can see you on my screen. Thumb up if you can see my slide. I don't see my chair. Anybody? Sarah? I don't see anything. You don't see my slide? No. <laughs> I, got, I got some thumbs up. I can, Marsha. What do you see, Rhonda? It's just a white screen. Yeah. Or a gray screen. Weird. Is anyone else seeing it? I can. This is Dia. Okay, I think it might be your computer, Rhonda. Well, that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to get started. So listen along, Rhonda. All Take right. Notes, guys. All right. So I'm really happy to talk on this topic because I feel like a lot of times um, people feel like they are trying to sell somebody something. And if you feel that way, it's probably because of how you're approaching your business. Um, you know, I, my story is I, I live in a very, very small, not even 1,500 people in our town, um, a lot of Amish in the population in our home. So, you know, it's one of those things where, if you guys can mute yourselves, please, that'd be awesome. Um, when I started my business, I knew that I would need to go beyond my warm market and beyond loyal Wisconsin to find people to help. Um, so we're going to talk about how do you meet people, basically, and um, help them, inspire them to join your challenge group. All right, so um, getting started. Uh, first and foremost, you have to meet people, right? If you're not meeting people, you're not having anyone to talk to. Um, so how do you meet people? Um, you know, before, I guess it was probably a year into my business before I really actually realized that there was such a thing as Facebook interest groups. Um, you know, my coach, my upline coach would say, well, yeah, you know, I'm giving these groups what she was talking about. Um, because I wasn't familiar with Facebook at all. I wasn't on Facebook before I started coaching. So um, you can literally find an interest group for almost anything. I'm still getting a lot of sound, guys. Can you please mute yourselves? I can't hear myself even talk. Someone has a baby. <laughs> I feel like I'm yelling because I can't hear myself. Um, all right, so like, let's say you are someone who likes Harley Davidson motorcycles, right? You can go and find a group for that. Um, what about like healthy cooking or crock pot meals or whatever that is? You know, well, how you do that is you go into Facebook and in that little search bar where you would normally type in someone's name, just start typing in some keywords and some groups are going to pop up. And if they're an open community group, go ahead and join them and then start networking, meeting people in there. You can go maybe you know right on your calendar at least twice a week. You're going to go in that group and ask a question or comment on somebody's question. Um, so that way you can start just meeting people, engaging with them, so that way, you know, after a few conversations back and forth, it might seem natural to send them a friend request. So then you can send them a friend request and start building the relationship that way. When I do that, you, know, you just never know who you're gonna meet. So a lot of times, if I'm considering sending someone a request, I will go to their timeline and see if their posts are public, if I can kind of get to a feel for who they are, if, um, if I feel like, there's someone that I want to get to know or not. Sometimes you, you know, some people are just like, eh, I don't know about this person. I'll move on to the next. But or if they're another beach body coach, because a lot of us are in a lot of these same groups. So you know, it's not going to move my business forward necessarily to befriending all these beach body coaches. So I want to look to see who they are first before sending them a request. Um, another good way is just like people that you know, um, people who go to your church, um, maybe your your kids' school friends. Um, any committees that you might belong to. Um, how I really got my business started off strong as a brand new coach three months into the business is I started my own fit club. And I know a lot of people, myself included when I first started, that was something that was really intimidating and scary and um, just way outside of my comfort zone, putting myself out there like that. And I had that on my, my dream board. I still remember like six months into the business, I was going to have some huge grand opening to start up my own fit club. And um, 
my third month as a coach, it was a cup challenge month. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to put this off. I'm going to do this month. And I'm going to make this month my best month yet. I'm going to have a ton of points for my cup team. And I did that. And every single person that I helped in that I did, I did, turned into a challenger. For stuff today. Um, so it's basically a way for you to share the workouts, um, share yourself, let people get to know you so that um, they kind of understand what the workouts are and um, can try them before they buy them, basically. So host your own. Um, in your coach online office, in your back office, there's a ton of information on how to get started. Go look on YouTube. Um, I've done YouTube on starting up your fit club. Um, so it's super easy. Don't overthink it. It's a great way to meet people and help people. Um, friends of friends. So you can go look on um, you know, someone who has a lot of friends and go and see who you have common friends with this person and just send them friend requests. All right. Um, and then other social media platforms, you know, don't overlook your like page. If you don't have one yet, number one, get one started. Um, you know, your Instagram contacts, your Pinterest, people who follow your Pinterest boards, you can go back and um, see if you can link up with them on Facebook. Um, people have the option to post their Facebook page, or sometimes I would just do a search for the name and see if I can figure out who they are just by based on their pins or whatnot, and then find them on Facebook. All right, and then first, you know, you don't want to cold invite. You know, they're going to totally feel like a sale. If you, you know, just meet somebody, you send them a friend request and say, hey, you know, want to join my challenge group? They're probably going to say no, or they're going to say, uh, you know, see you later, and they're going to unfriend you, okay? People don't want to feel like a sale. You know, I, I, there's nothing worse than, you know, going to a car dealership and feeling like you're just being smothered by some car salesman. You don't want to be that icky car salesman, Okay. So start in, you know, baby steps. You want to first get to know them, right? So invite them to be your Facebook friend first and foremost. Um, you know, people are like, well, how do you do that? What do you say? And you just be real with people, right? You say, you know, hey, how are you? I noticed we had some common friends and interests, so thought you might like to connect as a Facebook friend. Keep it simple. You know, if you're interested, please accept my friend request. Now, you can only send a certain amount of friend requests before you get in trouble with Facebook. I am guilty. I've been in Facebook jail numerous times as a new coach. I, I was banned for a whole month, which really sucked, where you cannot send friend requests and you cannot message anybody who is not your friend. You don't want to be put in Facebook jail. It really sucks. So a way around that is I only will send maybe you know six to ten friend requests in a given day, and I'll... I'll you know, be mindful of how many are getting bad, like how many people are actually accepting my friend request. Um, if I get too many, I will go back and um, remove those requests and then just start fresh. Okay, so as those, what happens is if you have, you know, X number, I'm not sure what the magic number is from Facebook, but if you have too many requests, pending requests, and not enough people accepting them, that's gonna to flag to Facebook that you are basically spamming people, okay? So you don't wanna do that. You can go back into your settings and remove those pending friend requests and then start fresh so that you don't get banned from Facebook friend requesting. So if you have reached your max, you know, you've sent your 10 friend requests, and you're waiting for people to get on Facebook and accept or whatever, um, an alternative way to, to keep, you know, looking for people to meet is to reword it. Don't send them that friend request, but put the power in their hands. Say, if you're interested in connecting, please send me a friend request. Okay, so hopefully they will do that. Um, I know I talk about this later, but this is why it's really, really important to keep your posts public. Okay, so when you're sending off these friend requests, if all of your posts are private on your timeline, people are not gonna know you from your neighbor, you know, Whatever. They're not going to know you from town. So make sure that you are making your posts public and you're talking about your life. It's not all beach body. It's not all, you know, talking about your challenge groups and your free groups and joining your team. Okay. They're going to see that and say, well, she's just working her business on Facebook. I'm, I don't, you know, there's no point in getting to, you know, friend and requesting this person because she's just going to try to sell me. So that's why you really want to just be true and genuine and make sure your posts are adding a lot of value so that people have a reason to accept your request and they might you know, be intrigued to get to know you, okay? Um, all right, so you wanna get, so once you are able to connect with them and um, you're friend, friends with them on Facebook, you want to take a genuine interest in their life, okay? So this is where the forming comes in. And for those of you who are brand new coaches, you know, you can um, find this form 
document in your Coach Online office under the training section. And it stands for Family, Occupation, Recreation, and Message. Okay, so you're first going to ask them about their family. Um, I'm a mom, so usually that's the first thing I think of. You know, I look for, you know, if they have kids, because that's really important in my life. I love my kids. They mean everything to me. So if they have kids, that's just really something easy for me to say, hey, you know, your daughter is so cute. She reminds me of my or whatever. Um, and then you're going to move on to their occupation. What do you do for work? Do you, are you happy with your job? That, that sounds really interesting. I talking about them. Uh, what they like to do for fun, and then lastly, the message that you want to deliver to them. Um, this is really key into getting to know them, okay? So when you take the time to really have concern about them and get to know them, it's going to be so easy or so much easier to be able to deliver the right message to them that you, um, you know, what solution do you have to offer them? Um, you might find out that they really hate their job. You know, so then for me automatically, I'm thinking, gosh, you know, maybe they could benefit from starting up coaching and then be able to do this full time, you know, in a year's time. Or if they, you know, if they don't feel good about how they look, obviously, then you can offer them, you know, maybe support in one of your free groups upcoming, you know, put them on your list for someone to invite into your free group. But if you're not taking the time to get to know them and connect with them, you're not going to know where to direct your conversation. So you have to take the time to get to know your, your new friends. All right, so inviting. Don't expect them to join you on the first exposure, you know, especially if it's someone that you just met. You know, they might just have that feeling that, well, she just wants to sell me something, you know. Um, so I don't really expect people to say yes the first time I bring something up. I know that it takes time just from experience of them following my posts on Facebook, for me talking about my own success and the success of people who are participating in my groups for them to be more willing to jump on board. Um, so I never have an expectation, what, what, you know, which direction the conversation is going to go. But I normally like to start with a free group because there's no expectation of anything, you know, being purchased. My goal really is to um, help them as my free customer. So I want to help them sign up for the free Beachbody membership and then put them into my open door revolving group. Um, that's really my goal. So um, that's usually my first exposure as a free group. And then once they say yes and I help them sign up with their free membership and I add them into the group, then I'm asking them for referrals. You know, this is another way for you to meet more people, an easy way, because you've already made the connection with this one person. Maybe they know a couple other people that they can send your way who can do this free group with them. And then those are two more people that you can add to your network that you didn't know before. Um, so I just did this uh, for my free group starting tomorrow. And I have a lot of new contacts that I'm helping in this group. And I'm really excited because some of them, like I already have in my head, like, oh, this person would be a great coach. So I'm really, really excited. Um, I always get excited about my free groups. Um, so what I did for a requirement to join, um, I always have them, first and foremost, they need to be my customer. So they have to um, you know, sign up for the free Beachbody membership. And then the other thing that I'm doing is I'm giving a prize, a giveaway at the end of the group. I'm using, I have a lot of free workout video, or not free, but I bought a lot of the videos that were on sale at the, the Black Friday last fall. So I have Hip Hop Abs, some Slim and Six, uh, Shalene Extreme laying around. So I want to clean up my <laughs> clean up my library basically anyway. <laughs> clean out the clutter, and then um, that's my giveaway at the end of the week. So for the people that share their progress, have the greatest percent um, loss, and when they invite two of their friends in the group, they're eligible to get that prize. So you can come up with your own incentives, your own prizes, your own way of working your free groups, your, your own CEOs of your own business, which is pretty awesome, but that's just an idea of something that you could do for your own groups. And then just get creative. Um, you know, I found that a lot of times we just kind of get stuck in doing the same groups every month or every other month, and you start to lose interest because you've already helped a lot of your followers in the same sort of groups, you know, already. So it really is beneficial to be thinking outside the box, you know, what's going on, what time of the year are we in, what are you thinking about? Um, some of the best ideas I've had were just very last Hi. minute, like, man, I really need to do this. Oh, I should do a free group. Let's see who else wants to do it with me. You know, and you just never know who's going to want to jump on board with you. Um, but it excites your current customers. You know, maybe they are looking for something different too and want to change. 
And then um, it's going to appeal to different people. So, you know, maybe um, a, a free clean eating group is going to attract certain people, but maybe, uh, you know, like a finance group. I, I've done Dave Ramsey's um, seven steps to financial freedom groups before in a seven day group. And a, a totally different, um, you know, type of person would respond to that message versus the, the clean eating. Um, so, you know, the more you change things up, and then, you know, for my current customers too, they like to do different things. So they, they're not getting bored with my same groups every, t every month. Um, so here are just some ideas. I've done a 30 day guns, buns and abs challenge. That was really fun. So just, you can go onto Pinterest and find a month schedule of different workout routines. And then you just post in there every day, you know, after you've done it and ask people to do the same for accountability. Um, a sugar buster detox. I did that as a seven day after like, you know, Easter, after Halloween, those are really good to use after Christmas when people are just eating a lot of junk and candy and just feeling yucky and they want to get that you know, out of their system. So the sugar buster detoxes are great for that. Um, a biggest winner. This is what I'm gonna do, I'm thinking in August, I love this idea. So I'm just gonna have people pay like maybe two or three dollars, something really cheap that can PayPal me. And then we're gonna do it for a week. And again, at the end of the group, whoever has the greatest percent loss will win that money back. So um, you can do something like that. Um, you know, a lot of people are addicted to the soda. Soda Users Anonymous is another good idea, you know, whatever. You can see I have a bunch of different ideas. Um, and then when you're formulating your post on your timeline, it's a really great idea to tag friends, um, tag your fellow coaches, tag people who you think might want to participate. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna up, um, it's gonna get in more people's newsfeed. It'll be, you know, whoever you tag, it's gonna be in their friend's newsfeed too. So, um, you know, be thinking about that how you want to work that and that's going to be another way for you to gain contact so because you're not friends with let's say you have you know your cousin is one of your friends on Facebook you tag her on your post it's going to show up in her news feed and then potentially all of her friends are going to see it so if they want to join then of course they need to um, send you a friend request all right so techniques to grow your relationships um, so once you are able whoa I don't know what just happened there <laughs> Sorry guys, I have no idea how that happened. Um, all right, techniques to grow your relationships. Once you are meeting new people, and you help them into a free group perhaps, um, you know, a great way to connect with them is in videos. Um, I found that the more videos I post, you know, don't go overboard and people don't like to watch long videos. So, you know, like a minute videos are awesome. Well, you know, no more than three minutes for sure. People don't wanna watch it. Um, but people like to see you and, you know, pictures and selfies are great. Um, but stepping things up one more notch is a video, um, you know, maybe like in your groups, instead of just posting your accountability for the day, just take a, you know, it's like 15 second video clip and post your accountability in a video. And there's just something different that you can do. Um, let them know that you're thinking about them. Thank them for holding you accountable too. Um, as we all know, our groups are reciprocal. They help us just as much as we help them, you know, them. Um, another really great feature that I love is on your smartphone, instead of texting, you can do a video message or um, like a 15 minute actual video or a one minute voice message. So that way they can just really hear your voice inflection and um, it's just a little bit more personal than texting or messaging. Um, okay, so then the next thing that I have here is ask for help with referrals and encourage them to post. So, you know, once they're in a group, you can say, gosh, you know, I really was hoping to get, you know, 30 people in this group. Do you know anybody who you think might benefit from joining us this week? Or do you, do you know anyone who could possibly, you know, just really love this group too? And it's okay to ask them. If they say no, they say no. If they say, yeah, let me think about it and ask around. You know, that's awesome. Um, give them shout outs. So for any small success that they might have, or if they post publicly on their timeline, you know, give people a shout out for that. That's awesome. And that would be an indication that that person might be a really great coach on your team if they're already posting publicly um, and encourage that. And then, you know, one thing that I love to do is just send people a small gift or a thinking of you note. If I know, you know, someone's going through maybe a hard time or Maybe they, they were really actively posting and they kind of dropped off. You know, you can kind of gauge like, oh, maybe they're just, you know, not, maybe they need a little boost. So, you know, you can give people, you know, a little note card in the mail means a lot, a handwritten note. 
And one thing that I, you know, really believe strongly in is your free groups, man. You know, you only get one shot to really make or break a relationship. If you, you know, if, if something goes wrong in your free group, if it just, if it is a flop, you know, it's going to be hard to get them into another free group or another group period. So, you know, your free groups really are where it starts and make those as awesome as you can and be in there every single day and just um, do your very best in your free groups. All right, so um, don't allow yourself to get disappointed. This is one thing that I think a lot of coaches, especially new coaches, get really bummed out about. Um, when people say no or not now or they just don't seem to have any interest, um, you know, as a new coach too, when I would post on my timeline, I got very few likes, very few comments. Most of my success in my business starting out was all done behind the scenes in private message. Um, I was, you know, inviting every single day and doing a lot of private messaging. I would be up until one or two in the morning sometimes. It was crazy to me, like, how many people are actually up that late <laughs> on Facebook? Um, but I was doing it because that's when people were on. So. Um, I just made that sacrifice and it paid off for me. But um, I never let that no get down or get me down because I knew it was this timing thing. And the longer I work my business, the more confident I am that I know, you know, if I get a no response back or a, a no, it just means not now. You know, now is not the time for them. The more consistent I am, the more progress I show in my own health journey and you know, show other people the, the success of the people that I'm helping in my group. It's going to be timing when they're ready to jump on board. So um, just I continue helping them, inviting them to free groups, um, just trying to use my timeline as a place to motivate, inspire, and educate people as much as possible. And I read this somewhere, read this somewhere I'm not sure where, but um, you know, typically it will take, on average, about six exposures before a person will say yes to a fitness challenge. So six exposures is six invites or six free groups or whatever, but that's kind of the average. So if you have someone sign up before six, you're doing really awesome. Um, so I just kind of want to let you guys know, you know, where, you know, where you can kind of expect to see your success with this. And with every invite, so you send 10 invites, three people out of 10 will want more information and one will say yes. So it, it is kind of a numbers game. You have to make sure that you are, you know, posting quality posts on your timeline to back everything up. And, you know, you are being credible um, with what you're talking about by your own fitness journey and, um, you know, sharing progress of your customers and challengers. Um, even small successes, you know, if you guys are brand new to coaching starting out yesterday, I was talking to someone earlier, um, you know, maybe get a three-day refresh. It's on sale. I forgot to mention that um, for this month, the three-day refresh is on sale this month. So if you are brand new starting out, get the three-day refresh, post your progress every single day for those three days and share your before and after. Your proof that the product works, okay? You don't have to go through a 90-day fitness program to share your transformation. You can do it in three days with a three-day refresh. Um, and then just, you know, use personal development. This is one thing that is key, guys. You know, don't ever discount the, the personal development. It is a vital behavior for a reason. And I can tell, you know, when coaches are in a slump, I ask them what they're reading for personal development and either A, they're not doing any personal development or B, they're not doing the right personal development. They might be listening to just some random YouTubes or whatever. But if you're really not focusing in on where you need growth, self-growth, you know, it's not going to necessarily help you with this, you know, overcoming your, your you know, feelings of disappointment or failure or whatever it might be. If you need some good suggestions, you know, talk with your sponsor coach, talk with your diamond coach, and, um, you know, maybe we can point you in the right direction of what, um, what book would be the best for you based on what you're struggling with. All right, so progression of a new relationship. This is kind of a recap, okay? So number one, you just want to get out and meet people. It's easy to do. People are on social media for one reason, and that's to meet people and be social, all right? So um, you're basically just trying to be as much, um, show yourself as much as you can in your posts. Um, don't be afraid to show people who you are and talk about who you are. And um, there's some of the most powerful posts that I love to read. I just uh, gave a, one of my coaches a shout out today was when they talk about, you know, before and after Beachbody, like how, how they would have thought or how they would have felt about themselves before starting a workout program, before working on themselves, and how they are now and how that's helped them. So when you kind of relate it back to where you were before, that's going to help people relate to maybe how they're feeling. And they're going to have hope for something better when they read how, 
how your life has changed because of that. So um, you're starting just, like I said, it's kind of like dating. You know, you want to be, um, you know, in, like, I don't know, like encourage people to follow you or make them want to follow you so that they accept your friend request and you can start forming with them. Um, invite them with your, to your free groups. Um, help them with their free Beach Friday membership. Um, and then I do have an open door revolving group. So once my free groups are done, or once my challenge groups are done, I put all of my customers, whether they are a free beach body lead or they were in a free challenge group or whatever it was, um, I put them into this, this bigger customer group. And it's only for my personally, my customers only, or my coaches who are still in their fitness journeys or just want to see what how my groups are run. Um, but I'm not having my coaches add their customers or coaches add coaches. It's only my um, customers and my coaches. Um, so that way, what I do is every month I will post in there, you know, what groups I have up and coming, my free groups, um, my coach training groups or calls, like my coaching opportunity calls. It's just a place where I can continue supporting my customers um, on their journey. And, you know, sometimes you know, have customers who want to repeat challenge groups, you know, two or three times. And I feel kind of bad because, you know, we're using the same posting schedule. I try to change things up and sometimes I do, you know, change up the posting guide, but they're still getting all the same information. Um, so this is just a place where I can put them in and continue supporting them so I'm not being disconnected from them if they don't need daily accountability. Um, and sometimes they go into that open door revolving group and then they request to be back in the challenge group for a little extra support. So then I can move them back into a challenge group and help them out. But um, I never want to lose touch with people that I've already helped. So I love having that bigger group um, to support all of my customers in. And then the other thing that I do is um, send out monthly newsletters or updates. So letting all of my customers know um, what's on sale for the month. And this includes you know, anybody in my, my contacts or my customers in my coach online office. So I will go and I'll export that email um, list of all of my customer leads, my customers, and then I'll um, send out a message from my Yahoo or um, Google account because otherwise I feel like it goes to people's uh, junk mail. So I send that from my personal email um, yeah, and, and again, videos. So I like to do videos to that free group, letting people know what's going on for the next month following. Uh, all right, so and here's my final kind of um, words of wisdom here. You know, when I first started, I never dreamt about success. I really truly didn't. I knew I needed to work for it. It had to be something that was intentional. Um, I had to be, you know, doing certain things every single day in my business in order to make it happen. Um, there has to be activities backing up what you want to do in this business. So that's where the business activity tracker comes into play. You know, making sure that you're tracking your, your business activities the same way that you ask your challengers to track their, you know, their workouts and their nutrition um, to see progress. You, know, you really have to track your business and you have to do the work, all right? Um, so again, you know, meeting people is kind of key. You cannot expect to run a six-figure business based on the Facebook friends that you have right now. Um, I had no Facebook account when I first started. I, I, when I, I, I think I started with 60 friends. And I recognized I could not build a business on 60 friends. So every yeah. single day, I made a point to meet people, you know, add 10 people or, or more to my network every single day. You have to do that. Um, you have to make your post public so that when you send out that friend request, they're going to go back to your timeline and check you out. You want them to know what you're about. They want to know if you're a mom, if you have kids, or, you know, where you, where you live, or, you know, whatever. They're going to want to know. Who, you're, who you are, so you have to make your post public. And just make friends with people and genuinely care. You know, people ask me, well, what do you say? And just, well, just be you, you know, and be yourself and have a conversation with somebody. It's not hard. You know, you think of maybe look at their timeline, what do you have in common with this person, and just start talking. Um, don't ever, ever, please, guys, don't ever post your um, link to purchase or your website link on your timeline. It's, you know, or like a dollar amount. It's very salesy and it's going to turn people off. So don't ever, ever do that. Um, I've, you know, I don't know if I did that maybe when I first started. The only exception maybe is for like the, um, the Black Friday sale, like around Thanksgiving or whatever. You know, it's, it's okay. It's acceptable to do it then. But otherwise, I always do that in private messaging. If someone's having a, con a you know, asks me about one of my groups on my timeline, I will always say, you know, I'll private message you. I don't ever do that on public news feed. Because some people I just feel like maybe are more private about that or I don't know, I'm, just, it's, I'm not comfortable with doing that. So I always do that behind the scenes. 
Um, and then inviting them to free groups, you know, just kind of helps build that relationship. It helps them kind of be reassured that you're not just trying to sell them something. You really truly are trying to help them. Um, you can use your free groups to talk about each body products. So like I posted a meal plan today for my free group that I'm doing this week. And I did put Shakeology in there for one of the meal and snack options. And then um, you know, I had someone ask me about it and I said, yeah, you know, if you want to try the, the sampler pack, you can find it here. And I messaged the link in my group um, where they could find that or they can use, you know, these alternative shakes, you know, if they want. So I had some like yogurt smoothie recipes that I posted in the group so that they had that as an option. Um, you can share your workouts in your free groups. You know, I'm encouraging people to work out or do some kind of activity in my group. Um, I'm going to share my, my each body workouts that I'm using. Um, you can use recipes from the nutrition guides so that they kind of have exposure to what um, the nutrition plans are with Beachbody if they would decide to join into a fitness challenge. Um, I always refer them back to their Beachbody membership to track progress. And then also um, they can, they have access to recipes in their Beachbody membership. So you want them to be using that, that uh, the Beachbody membership as much as possible. And then um, let's see, I guess I said, be yourself on your timeline. Um, keep yourself in check. Um, use your temptations or struggles as opportunity to inspire and motivate. Um, when people see you succeeding yourself, they're going to have more confidence that you can also help them. So the more you do that, the more consistent you are, um, the more disciplined you are with your own journey, um, the more confident they are going to be in um, the fact that you can help them as well. So um, I guess that's what I have for tonight for you guys. I'm going to open it up for question and answer here. So I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. And I don't know what, how that yellow mark on my screen. I have no idea. Sorry about that, guys. That is weird. All right, I'm going to stop my screen share here. All right, let's hear from you guys. Was this helpful tonight? Yeah, no questions? Oh, I got a lot of questions. Okay, hold on. Oh, mute the lines. How do you look for pen, pending requests? Okay. Um, I think you go into your settings. I know I need to go back in there because I've been sending a crap load because of the cup challenge this month. <laughs> and I got a question. So what's going to happen with those is you will get a notification pop up that is kind of like your warning. It'll say, you know, you can only send friend requests to people that you know personally. Um, you know, do you want to continue sending these requests? And then at that point, I know that I need to go back and delete some requests, some pending requests. So I believe you go into your settings and your Facebook page and then look for that. Um, how do you set up a free group? Okay, that's a great question. So um, first you want to put out a post on your timeline, like I talked about, um, create a JPEG image. And I really love PicMonkey for creating some images for your posts. Um, you can Google like, you know, I guess how I created mine that I use today is I Googled clean eating or something like that to get some pictures of food. And then I uploaded that into PicMonkey, it's P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y. And then I used that image as an overlay, and then you can do text overlay and kind of make it look how you like. And you know, you guys, when I, I, I have a YouTube tutorial on how to use PicMonkey, but my first ones were really, really bad. So you, know, you can go into Pinterest and kind of get some ideas of what you like about certain images. And usually it's like a color scheme or a font or something like that. Um, look for what catches your eye because if it catches your eye, it's going to catch other people's eye too. You want something that's going to stop people from scrolling through their newsfeed. So I started going to Pinterest to look for images that were really eye-catching and eye-pleasing. And then I would try to recreate that and make my own. So you can do that in PicMonkey um, and then save it and then share it to your timeline. And then how to create a free group. I'm going to do a screen share and show you guys. It's super easy. All right, so if you, on your left-hand side of your page here, you're gonna see all of your groups that you're in, right? 
don't know if you guys can all see this. <coughs> so the first one here under groups, you're going to create a group. My computer is kind of slow here tonight. All right, so then you're going to just name your group name and then you're going to want to leave it closed. And then it'll just literally walk you through the steps. You're going to have to add in somebody. So you can add in your members here, whoever's joining your group, and then you can add them more in later as you go. Um, but then basically that's it. And then I like to save mine to my favorites bar <coughs> so that I can find it later. So these, all these groups here on my left are in my favorites bar. My computer's really slow tonight. All right, so up here on your upper right is where you would, so I have mine already in my favorites, but here you would save it to your favorites. All right, does that answer your question, Pete? Um, okay, uh, awesome. All right, how many free groups do I do a month? Um, typically, I do one per month just because I start, I start my challenge groups every first and third Monday of the month, and then I also start my coach training groups on the first Monday of the month. So I like to keep them short, and you know, I'd like to do them one a month. However, this month with the cup challenge, I'm, my goal is 10 invites per day and 10 new contacts per day. So in order to meet 10 new people every single day, I need to do more of the free groups because that's my number one place to find new people with referrals and running those free groups. So that's why this month I am doing a free group every single week. It's going to be crazy busy, but um, it's, it's how I'm going to meet my goal this month. So all right, I think that's all for questions. Believe. Um, I do not do Twitter. I, I, I do have an account, but I don't, I don't know. I don't understand Twitter. <laughs> okay. Um, do I have a script I can share in Royal Republic for asking for referrals? Uh, yes. And actually, um, when I am talking with a new customer, and if they give me the price objection, I will ask them, you know, if they want my help in, in finding them some referrals so that they can also join that challenge group with them and then I, you know, help them with a referral bonus. So I'll give them a $20 gift card or something for finding a new referral to help pay for their program. Um, so I can put that script in Royal Republic. Do I have my referral sent up for a free account? Yes, I do. Anybody who's in my free groups, um, you know, the same conversation I have with every person I talk to. I first ask them if they have a coach they're already working with. And if they do, then I refer them back to their coach. Um, if they don't, then I help them get set up. It is a requirement that they are my customer to participate in my, in my group. It's free, and I'm putting my time into the group. So the least that they can do is to respect me and um, treat, you know, this is my business, and it's a profession. And, um, you know, they, they can benefit from having that membership. So I do have them um, any referral or any participant in my free groups to sign up for that membership. In your bed. All right. Are we good guys? Any other questions? No? All right. What's PPT? <laughs> PPT is PowerPoint. <laughs> All right. Remember, I am not techie. I was not on social media before this. Yes. Um, I can upload that to Royal Republic as well. Oh, okay. That, Pete, um, I will put that in team for information here on my team. All right. Everybody good? Okay. All right. Thanks for jumping on tonight, guys. Um, this our meeting was recorded, so I will also um, be posting the recording if you want to listen to it again and take notes. Um, so glad you guys jumped on, and I look forward to seeing you next time. All right, take care, guys.